Now, before you say, oh, but he's Puerto Rican. Let me explain white privilege to you. White privilege is for any any race of of people who are the white skinned version of the indigenous people in that country. It goes for all of them. No matter how Mexican they look, if they are the white version of Mexicans, if if they are the if they are the Chinese, the white version of Chinese, if they are the white version of Puerto Rican, if they are the white version of uh, 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 Jamaicans, if they are the white version of us black people, Africans, they all receive privilege. Okay? So, getting right into this. Um, former Power Ranger Ricardo Medina Jr. jailed after killing roommate with a sword. Okay. Um, actor Ricardo Medina Jr. claims he was acting in self-defense after his roommate broke into his bedroom following an argument. Um, right. Uh, prosecutors said Ricardo uh, Medina Jr. stabbed Josh Sutter multiple times at a home they uh they shared in Green Valley, Los uh, Los Angeles County, in January 2015. Medina, who played the Red Power Ranger in the uh, TV show in 2002, claimed he was acting in self-defense after Mr. Sutter broke into. Uh, his bedroom following an argument. Uh, the 38-year-old actor was originally charged with first-degree murder, but later pled guilty to a count of voluntary manslaughter. Medina's lawyer, Stanley um, Friedman, said the actor agreed to plead guilty to manslaughter so that so as not to risk a murder conviction and a and a possible life sentence. Wow. During the sentencing at Superior Court in uh, Lanchester, California, Mr. Sutter's father uh, asked Judge uh, Davey and Mitchell to show no leniency towards Medina. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Donald, Donald Sutter said, put this killer in general prison, general prison population. Uh, so he will see and feel the same fear that Joshua must have felt. After stabbing Mr. Sutter, Medina called 911 and took his roommate to the hospital where he was pronounced dead shortly afterwards. The victim's sister, Rachel Kennedy, told ABC News a, um, a uh, post-mortem found her brother's um, sustained 10 sharp force injuries. These were said to have included hand injuries and a stab wound uh, through the abdomen. <laughs> Last year, the TMZ website reported that the blade used um, had been a Conan the Barbarian style sword, broad sword. And that's it for the uh, article. Now, it doesn't, uh, now this is, this is before the sentencing. So, in case you guys, um, uh, in case you guys didn't know, matter of fact, let me pull it up. Now, I just pulled up the, uh, the Wikipedia information on this, on this guy. Mr. Uh, Ricardo Medina. And uh, 
that this is the only information they have on this guy is his legal issues okay so check this out check this out and this is very short um on February 1st, 2015, Medina was arrested after he allegedly stabbed to death his 36-year-old 30, uh, roommate. Now, just reading the other article, it said that there was only one stab wound, which was in the abdomen. Okay. Um, but anyway, Joshua, his roommate Joshua Sutter on uh, January 31st, this is... Uh, 2015. Uh, Sutter had been stabbed in the abdomen with a uh, medieval Conan the Barbarian st uh, type sword at a home in Green Valley uh, west of uh, Palmdale, Florida. Afterward, Medina called the uh, police upon arrival at the uh, hospital. Sutter was pronounced dead. Medina was initially held on a $1 million bail, but no charges were filed against him uh, from the district attorney due to a uh, request to further investigation. So he was released on February 3rd, 2015. That privilege, but Medina claimed that he stabbed Sutter in self-defense after Sutter forced to uh, uh, open the door of Medina's bedroom in which Medina and his girlfriend uh, retreated into uh, retreated into after an argument between Medina and Sutter. Medina had lived in the home in uh, Green Valley for approximately two months. On January 14, 2016, uh, he was arrested again on murder charges in connection with Sutter's death. At that time, Medina faced a possible sentence of life imprisonment without a chance of parole uh, after 26 years, with prosecutors planning to ask that Medina be held on $1 million bail um, again. On March uh, 16, 2017, Medina pled guilty to one felony count of voluntary manslaughter. On March 30th, 2017, Medina was sentenced to a maximum six years in prison. Now, my question is, how does how does a life sentence turn into six years? If if any of y'all black white whatever you are watching this video if any of y'all know how the how how law works please explain to me how a life sentence turns into 6 years on a on a what do they call it a, a bargain plea deal uh like like seriously this is this is white Puerto Rican privilege. <laughs> this is white Puerto Rican privilege in the highest degree. Okay? Look, and let me explain this how this privilege thing works. Let me just give you a little piece of it. The white version of any indigenous people on this planet. They can flip flop whenever they, they can choose, you know, what they want to be. That's just like what Tay Diggs is doing with his son. Okay, everybody didn't heard this, that he wants his son to choose whether he wants to be black or white. The white supremacist system will still recognize your son as a Negro, as a nigga. Whether he wants to be white whether he wants to be purple, whether he wants to be any color within the within the uh look, it's not gonna fly. You have to come out of that imaginary like 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 society actually works for us. Society doesn't work for us, society doesn't care who wanna be white, they don't care if we bleach our skin, look at Michael Jackson. You see what I'm saying? But it is what it is. 
but yeah, I'm gonna put both of these stories in the um in the uh in the comment section so that you don't have to uh I'm gonna put the links as well. Um but uh but yeah, you know, so you can read along with it. Uh I should have said that at the beginning. But uh but yeah. You know, let me know what you guys think, man. Um, you know, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.